Hello and welcome to this installment of Diecast Emporium. It's Core Classics time once again. Today we're going to look at the Cat 320DL hydraulic excavator with the hammer attachment. It's item number 85280. This model is 1 to 50 scale and of course it is an adult collector's item. If you've never seen this channel before, let me first welcome you to it. Typically what we do here on Diecast Emporium, before we review the model, we take a look at the packaging. So as it is a Core Classic Series model, it doesn't come in the standard tin. It comes in the more traditional style of packaging that we've seen for decades with Caterpillar models. There's the model right in the center. On the back, you have a picture of the machine at work and with the hydraulic hammer attachment, of course. There is the specification details for the 320 and the H120S hydraulic hammer attachment that is attached to this excavator. So if you're interested in that, please feel free to pause the video and uh, we will get started here. So let's go ahead and unbox it. There is the model. As always, you have your catalog here that has the entire lineup of Diecast Masters Caterpillar models. Here is the excavator. It is housed in these plastic formers, which is nice because they take the place of those annoying and pesky twist ties. And that's it. You're done. The model is free. So we have seen many, many 320s over the years, and we've even seen a standard 320 DL with the bucket. This one, uh, of course, is different because it has the hydraulic hammer on it. Let's take a look at the functionality of it. Of note, the hammer piece here, this is a plastic small piece. The rest of it, the rest of the hammer is die cast, but it's actually spring loaded, as you can see here. So you can simulate a little bit of jack hammering going on. And you can pose this doing some work on a wall or a building. If you want to pose this in a demolition diorama, that is completely doable. As you saw in the packaging, you can also fold this up tight for a transport load. Although the problem is, the attachment really doesn't curl up any farther than that, so that's about as tucked in as you're going to get. You could, theoretically, drill out these rivets and add your own custom quick coupler if you wanted to remove the hammer. As with any excavator from Diecast Masters, it does spin 360 degrees. The tracks on this excavator are metal and they are finely detailed. They roll very, very freely and well. As you can see here, they roll on this smooth surface which has almost no friction without an issue. For the small details, you can see a warning label has been added here, which looks very, very nice. Here's your CAT decal 320DL. Some nice red lights back here. A huge CAT decal on the back counterweight. Caterpillar up here. A nice plastic mirror here with a silvered surface, which looks good. This grab rail right here is perhaps a little bit oversized, but it's a nice addition nonetheless. I'd rather have one there than have nothing there. And also these plastic steps look the part. You have some etching into the casting itself for anti to give the, the effect of anti-slip, as you can hear there. You also have tons of busy hydraulic lines going up the boom and stick. However, one thing that if this model is ever redone or perhaps included in the Evolution Series models at a later date, one thing that is a must is hydraulic lines going from the impact hammer to the auxiliary attachments. That is definitely something that um, could be added and would add to the realism factor. And this is a Core Classic Series model, of course, so our friendly neighborhood operator Bob is permanently affixed in the cab of this machine, unless, of course, you want to disassemble your model at your own discretion. That is entirely up to you. So there you go, collectors. That is a brief overview of the Diecast Masters Core Classic Series Caterpillar 320DL excavator with the hydraulic hammer attachment on it. Overall, it's a very solid model, especially if you are into demolition equipment. Um, the fact that the actual hammer is spring-loaded is pretty cool. If you have any pieces of modeling material lying around in a diorama that could simulate some concrete or something, 
it definitely lo would look good there. And overall, it's a different, en a different enough excavator to be worth adding to your collection. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And until next time, take care and be safe, and we will see you in the next video review.